How's it going everybody? This is Giuseppe and we're back with another episode of Kicking It With Juice. Um, we're here in front of Starbucks Coffee and a buddy of mine and myself, we believe that we're uh, coffee connoisseurs. connoisseurs. Um, <laughs> we're gonna roll with it. You can edit that part out, we'll roll with it though. Uh, coffee connoisseurs and um, if you would like to introduce yourself, Trevor. Uh, this is Trevor hey Spangenberg. I am excited to be here with kicking it with juice today. He's being so ready to try some coffee. He's being so sarcastic. Done with our orders. We came out here uh, on this beautiful patio, and we're just hanging out. This is the iced coffee, just traditional black iced coffee, nothing added, no sweeteners, no sugar. And then, what did you get? We got a cold brew. Um, it's a weak sip. Can't get a review by that. You gotta get a few sips. There we go. That's better. It's decent. I think that there's way too much ice in here for this little cup. So technically I got this much coffee and I got this much ice. It's not very strong. From a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being water and 10 being an Italian espresso or a Colombian shot of espresso, I'll give it like, with decimals, a 5.7. Just to add, Trevor drinks coffee like if it was water. Look, first off, like we talked about, this basically is water. It's a pretty basic cup of coffee. It gets the job done. I already feel a little more energized from that. He just had it like five seconds ago and he's already feeling better. I'm gonna go with a 5.1. Oh, the cold brew from Starbucks. It smells a lot stronger. The barista told me mine was stronger as well when I ordered it as opposed to his, so that's that's a, it's, that's a fact. Yeah, oh, a lot more flavor than the iced coffee. This has to at least be half of a point higher. So my half of a score is pretty accurate. So I give this a 6.2. Honestly, that's awful. <laughs> this, is, this is just water to me. This is even more water than that. I love the brutal I honesty. Have to drink. I, I feel a little over. worse. So the moment we've all been waiting for, 3-8. And that's generous, 3-8. <laughs> all right, we're here at Rostov's, and it seems like they have a high level of intellect of coffee, and uh, their presentation of their coffee beans with their different variations of flavors looks delicious. So um, I'm really excited. So high intellect. Just high level. I'm uh, very excited to go in there to uh, just, you know, experience it. Trevor, how do you feel? Yeah, I'm looking forward to following you in there. Right. Super high into that <laughs> coffee, let's go. Right? I ordered a small iced coffee, black, nothing added, no sweeteners. I got the big boy size. We're drinking coffee today. I, that's kitty size. If you, can, if you can see, this is how much ice they put in compared to where Starbucks was the opposite. This was all of ice and then they poured in that much drink. It's definitely smooth. It tastes very nice. It goes down easy, and I don't have a bitter aftertaste. So by the way, this was a whole dollar cheaper. This is definitely a better bang for your buck. I'll give it a 6.5. That's a okay. 6.5. It's a it's a, it's a it's a healthy review. It's That's a, a healthy review. It's a value. I respect that. First off, I'd like to point out that this is a real size cup of coffee, but I didn't ask for this size. I just had the cold brew. Just give me the cold brew and this is the size I got. Awesome. This size is for us, us bigger boys. Just kind of rolls, rolls down the throat. Doesn't hang around. Dice, huge thing again. Juicy talked about it. Kicking it with juice here, by the way. Only a little bit of ice in there. Technically, it would be down here. I don't know why he went up there, but down here, a little bit of ice. I'm gonna go with 6.9, no doubt about it. The inside, I love it. Coffee mugs everywhere. There's coffee to smell in there everywhere. I told Juicy, just want to grab one, put it up my nose, smell it all day. I want to like take one and show it up my nose for the rest of the day. <laughs> smell it. Couldn't be happier with this cup of coffee right now. I can respect the 6.9. So now, my turn to- Cheers. Cheers. To review the cold brew. Uh. Yeah. 
It goes down easy. I have to go with Trevor. I even give it a seven. Wow. I give it. I, I give, give it a seven. I know. I know. I nine. give it a seven. So you had to do me out. Just, I'll do me by one. I I just had to give it a because I'm. You just had to be different. I'm appreciative. Okay. All right. Seven. I'm gonna try this iced coffee. Mm -hmm. Watch. You're gonna give it like a three. No, it's definitely not a three. It's good. It's good. It is good. It pains me to do so. I'm going to have to agree with him. You see how he added it pains him? Like if my opinion is wrong or bad? <laughs> I didn't, wouldn't have said that. I just would have easily have disagreed with him. <laughs> this is just tough to agree with him. That's all. <laughs> Still think the cold brew is a bit better. Agreed. 100% better iced coffee than Starbucks. I'm going to go... I'm going to go 6 point, 6 point 6.2. I'd recommend this place. I'm going to come back to this place. If not for the coffee, to buy some, absolutely. Like I said, I'm just gonna hang out in there and smell it all day. This seems like an awesome place to come and hang out. Like once again, this is Rostov's iced coffee and um, on Main Street. <laughs> on Main Street. Alright everyone. We're here in Carytown on right off Addison Street and we're at Lamplighter. Um, seems like a very cool place to come and hang out, have a nice Sunday afternoon coffee. Or Saturday, or any day of the week. I don't know why we pick Sunday, but. Correct. Just saying. You and I have come here on a Wednesday. It was a great time when we came here that day, too. <laughs> Cheers. Very interesting. Kind of upset about the size. Comparable to Rostov's. One thing I will say is the taste is a little bit more bitter, in my opinion. I like my bit. coffee bitter sometimes, but not too much, you know? Not too much. Yeah, we're, so just flows. This, this is my review, so. This is a team review. <laughs> It is a dollar more expensive, which to some people, it, it, it matters to me. I mean, it's whatever. You didn't even finish your last coffee, so you're wasting money. <gasps> this is, this is blasphemy. Try to finish this This is one. blasphemy. They don't count on Deflamation of character. Deflamation of character because... Deflamation I, or defamation? Deflamation. It's, it's, there's no L. I don't speak English really well. There's no L in that word. I don't, I'm not good at English. It's like a new big word with you at every coffee place. Every day. No, at every coffee place. <laughs> every place. This is the third one, and everyone's got a different big word. That's we, how, but that's how you learn. We pronounce two of the three. You know what? There's a very, very good way to go about failure. Failure? You don't use words? No. You don't know them? No. Should never be accounted for as a loss. It should always be something that you want to repeat to do review. better it's the next time. super deep. This is a coffee review. This isn't about life, all right? It's about how to get through right, life with to coffee. To my score on my coffee, <laughs> I'll go ahead and give, um, I'll give this a solid 6.2. Alright, thank you. Okay. It's got a good flavor. As I mentioned, I'm upset about the size again. Thought I was getting like the medium, didn't get the medium, got the small. And I asked for light ice, I'm happy with the ice ratio, it's perfect. 5.8, 5.8. Still better than Starbucks, I think. What did I give Starbucks? Not the iced coffees. That was, like, that was, that like, was like a three. That was like a one. <laughs> um, like cold brew. I think I gave it a five, a six, five, seven. Yeah, it was very. This mediocre. is better than. This is still better than Starbucks cold brew. Absolutely. So I'm happy with this. So five eight, five eight, five nine. Yeah, you know, five nine. I'm locking in five nine. Definitely smells a lot stronger the cold brew. Oh wow, this is a good different. I could yeah. appreciate the taste, the flavor. Do not I to take into account the incredible sandwiches here. <laughs> Do not take that into account. I already had to mention this last week that I am gluten free, so I will not be having any sandwiches anytime soon. They have so, gluten free options here. I, I don't know that because I didn't see it on the menu. I did. I looked specifically for juice. I looked, and they have some. Very considerate. Of when we Trevor. go places, I always point that out to him. The the GF section. Very. That's, that's it. The GF section. Just very considerate. I saving I, it with I, you. Saving it with I juice. just literally saved his life. I the, I can't be thanked. We're kicking, we're kicking and saving it with juice today. <laughs> That's what we're doing. It's uh, it's still very smooth. I'd say the bitterness does lie on your tongue a little bit, and the aftertaste, it, it stays a little longer than the cold brew at uh, Rostov, so I'd actually give it a higher score than Rostov's Ooh. coffee. So I give the cold brew here a 7.2. All right, iced coffee. Definitely not in the sevens. You know, if they were out of cold brew here, I would maybe entertain the idea of getting an iced coffee. With that being said, 6.5, 6.5. Pretty happy. We're here at the final destination, Rostology. You know, the whole vibe of the place is just very, very peaceful, you know. Kind of has like a dim light setting. They kind of have like their bags of beans uh, posted up on the walls. And um, it's just overall very, very good ambiance. Um, very, okay. 
So they're the actually beans. they're roasting their as we speak roasting their beans in the back, and you can kind of hear the noise. So you know it's just kind of you're not only drinking the coffee, you're experiencing the process. So I think that's something to consider. Nailed um, it. That's you know hit it on the head there. Yeah. Thank, thank, you're, thank, you're really thank you for your encouragement. I really appreciate that. Right. So just to point out once again. I did ask for light ice, so I asked. I requested light ice. So to compare, this Kitty is a cup. small. Kitty cup. This is a small. Hey, this. I'm you going. We have had multiple. I'm going on. I'm right. going on to four, and some of his. So I've had a lot of caffeine today. I had to go small. So to point out again, I, I asked for light ice. Ratio is perfect, but I had to request it. No ice in here. The ratio is all coffee. The ratio no. is, is is great. Oh, now you choose. Cheers. You take a sip. Cheers. You cheers. That's proper etiquette. Yeah. As I said, it is very, very strong. This taste, I'm not even like. All jokes aside, this tastes like a cold brew. Now, just just to paint a picture for the crowd watching, paint it. This is as strong as Rostov's cold brew. Very smooth and bitter, but I'd say flavor. This is the best one. Flavor. I give it a 7.5. Anyways, so this is a nitro cold brew. Um, for any of you beer drinkers, I would say this is like a Guinness texture, super thick. I've this had is cold a good one. I actually got the last of the nitro brew today. Like they're out, they're done. It's on a keg, it's on a keg. It's gotta be kept on a keg because it comes out super thick. It's, it's different, it's different. You can't find this at most places. Like I said, big fan. I'm gonna go 8.6. What? 8.6. Best nitro coffee in Richmond is right here at Roastology. Why? Well, but I also left a lot of room for me to find other ones and review those and give them higher ratings if it calls for it. Best coffee I've had today. I don't even want to give you a full cup because I like it so much. That's good. You get half a cup. It's very, very, very smooth. I'm talk about the bitterness. You like to talk it's about very, the bitterness. It's today, very so bitter. I want to hear it's an but, acquired taste. But it, it just goes down so smooth. Uh -huh. I'm going to go ahead and say that the cold brew yeah, it's very, I give it like a 7.4. I'm gonna have to stick with my guns here, 7.4. 7.4. Super poor score. Super poor score. I hope they don't let you back in here after that. <laughs> all things considered. Not 7.5 quality. All things considered. It's not 7. This costs $2.50. It's as potent and as strong as a cold brew. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go seven one. But just to clarify, guys, I'm not a coffee connoisseur. I don't even know how to say the word, frankly. We know. So we know. Just to put it out there, this is the coffee expert here. I just tagged along and uh, wanted to know what his uh, ideas were on the coffees, uh, and it's been a lot of fun hanging out with you guys or with Trevor. Um, Kicking it with Juice. We kicked it today. Yeah, we kicked absolutely it. kicked it. Try to support local breweries and local cafes, local businesses, because in all in all, they're better. I mean, major chains are more convenient, but in my in my opinion, Starbucks doesn't touch any of the three that we went to. We agree on something. We finally agree on something. Yeah. Anyone, give us some shout outs on where we can check out. We'll be happy to go there. So Absolutely. Always looking for recommendations. But anyways, thank you everybody for uh, kicking in with us, and we'll see you guys next week on Kicking It With Juice. Thanks.